Now, welcome students, all right? Welcome to the second lesson of, of probability. Now, in this case, we had to the graphical presentation of our events, right? as well as other parts of, of the probabilities, all right? So now we head on what? Now we head on what do we call the Venn, the Venn diagram. Now we head on what do you call the Venn? The Venn diagram. What is a Venn diagram by the way? We're saying a Venn diagram is a representation of what? It's a representation of elements. It's a, rep it's a representation of elements in a set or, or a group. So now this Venn diagram is part of the graphical uh, is part of the graphical representation of of our probabilities right now how do we draw a venn diagram right we need to know first we need to know that a venn diagram is a it's a a four-sided figure it's a four-sided figure at the corner having our sample space and a circle so what do we mean so this as represent the sample space and the box represent our 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 event and then what's not within the, the the circle it simply means that we do not include it it is not what it is not included that's anything which is not included which is not taking part of the event right so the number of circles in our box will be controlled by the number of events as we said that the circle represent what as we said in the beginning that the circle represent the events meaning if i have two events i will have two circles meaning if i have only one event i'll have a single circuit as as uh, presented in this in this way right now let's look since we saw the addition rule being the probability of A or B, which is equivalent to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. So in this case here, we're dealing with only two events, being events what? B, events A and, and B, right? So the first, way in which we can draw the first way in which we can draw the first way you will forgive me with my my, my drawings just it has to be a four-sided figure it has to be a rectangle or a box of some sort so the first thing that we have will have a single circle and as said a single circle in this case represent what at the corner will have the simple space so a single circle represent it represent an event Right? So the moment I have a single event, I'll have a single circle, right? And then we know that what's not within the circle is, is the exclusion, right? So it simply means that it is not taking part in, in the event. These are our elements that are not taking part in the, in the event, right? So I'm going to start. So in this case, because of our addition rule having two because of our addition rule having having two events we'll start by illustrating with with two events right so we are going to draw so the first thing in which i can draw my venn diagram having two events is that i can have i, I can have two circles being apart from each other so i know why am i having two circles like i say I am having two circles in this case because of I'm dealing with two events. So being event A and, and B. Now listen to me. What you do is that you draw your box and then you will have two circles and then you have to name the circles, right? Since you are dealing with, with two different events. So the first circle I'll say that's my event B and the second circle, the first circle will be my event A, the second circle will be my event B. And then mind was not within the circle. Was not within the circle as well. Was not within a circle is the elements that are not taking part in, in A and they are not taking part in, in B. So in this case, they are included. Right? So, and do not forget, 
the sample the sample space so looking at these two uh, box uh, looking at these two circles they do not intersect right so meaning its intersection is, is zero and as we stated in the first lesson or in the first video, we said that, okay, whenever we see the intersection, because we said the probability of A and B. And I told you that this sign simply means inter intersection. Now I'm saying from the first video, we knew that whenever the probability of A and B is equal to zero, it simply means that we have mutual exclusive events. Even it applies, it's the same thing applies here, even in, in Venn diagrams. Look here at this Venn diagrams, do they intersect? So what do, what do I mean when I speak about intersection? Whenever they overlap each other. The moment I say something like this, we call this thing inter intersection. Why? Because this is where they, they overlap. It's called as a, it is called an intersection. So the moment there's no intersection, it tells you that you have what? You have the mutual, you have the mutual exclusive events. Right? The moment you see them being the, the moment you see them being away from each other without intersecting, right? So the second way in which we can draw, we can have we can still have we can still have two cycles and sorry forgive me let's use the space the same thing happens here we can still have what we can still have we can still have two cycles and i quote these two cycles they do what these two cycles represents the event it simply tells me that i'm dealing with with two events and do not forget that we have the sample size in this case right so the difference from these two Venn diagrams is that the first one doesn't have an intersection while the other one has has intersection. And then we said whenever we don't really have the intersection or whenever the intersection of the two events is equal to zero, we know that we have the mutual exclusive events. You know that we have the mutual exclusive events, right? So suppose you had this Suppose you have these Venn diagrams, right? And in this Venn diagram, let me state it here. Suppose you have this Venn diagram. And in this Venn diagram, you are asked to do what? You are asked to, you are asked to shade the event A, right? You are asked to shade event A, or you are asked to calculate the probability of A. So for this one, I'll use A, a red, a rainbow not a rainbow but a green for this one i'll use a green so at the moment you have two events we really know that they do intersect one another right but for the fact that they said they intersect each other but for the fact that they said they want the probability of a they never said anything about b they said a and looking at a it is the entire circle the entire circle so the circle that contains a and then we are looking we are looking for for the probability of a so it simply means that we are looking for the for the entire what we are looking for the for the entire circle we consider what is what is in the circle irrespective of whether it irrespective of 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 the intersection so we want the whole circle so that is our event the same thing applies can I change the pen? So the same thing applies here. The same thing applies if I still have the two circles. And in this case, I've been asked to shade for B. So in this case, you are looking for, not forgetting the sample space. In this case, you are looking for the property of B. So we will consider what? We will consider the, the circle which consists of B. So irrespective of whether, irrespective of the intersection, whether it intersect or not, we want the whole portion. We want what? We want the whole portion for, for B. We consider the whole portion for B. Because we want what? We want B. Right? And then having another, still going to have, so today I believe we are going to have many examples of this. Right? 
and I don't want you to climb this example. I want you to practice them, right? After this section, feel free to pause right there, and therefore, you know, you test yourself, right? You write them somewhere, you put, you hide the pig, you hide whatever you have written, and then what do you do? You try to record them, all right? And then now I still have A and and B, right? So in this Venn diagram, suppose I am asked, suppose in this Venn diagram, I am asked to shade for, for A and B. So because of you are looking for the property of A and B, we said this sign simply means what? An intersection. So the moment I'm I'm speaking about intersection, I'm speaking about where they overlap. This is where the, the two, this is where the two circles intersect. So we want this portion. We are only looking for for this portion. So we want a portion where they do what we want a portion where they, they overlap, right? So we, we saw we saw the first one. The same thing applies here. If they say they want A, you will shade the entire A. If they say B, you will shade the entire B. You understand? So let's continue. So we still have the same scenario, right? So in this case, we have a Venn diagram. Here I have A, here I have B. Okay, sometimes they do name them like as I did, or sometimes they name them in there, in there, inside the circle. They name them inside the circle or, or outside the circle, right? But we know that the first circle is A in this manner, and the second circle is it's B. Now, what happens if they say shade the probability of A or B? So whenever they, so mind we have only two events in this case. It's either A or B. So the moment they are telling me that they are looking for the probability of A or B, it's either the entire A, it's either they want the entire A, right? Or the entire B, which simply means that you consider whatever it's in, you consider whatever it's in, it's in both cycles, right? So we consider both cycles. You consider the entire A, and the entire B being the combination of the, the two circles. But the moment they say A and B, we know that N to represent an intersection. So we consider the space where they do what? We consider the space where they overlap. But the moment they say or, we consider both circles, right? We consider both circles, right? Can we just simply get a new page? Yeah. So now we still have another. So I believe the main idea now is based on on interpreting different scenarios of our Venn diagrams and after we apply them. Right? And after applying them, we can be able to do contingency table and other things. Right? And feel free to pause and answer question. You see? Feel free to pause and answer questions. I believe they are enough. Right? So, on this scenario, I still have I still have both, both events. Events A and events B. So what happens in this case if they say determine the probability of not A? What happens if they say not A? Now here's the question. So the first thing, like I said in the first video, that when they say not A, you consider A. Like how do you consider A? So we know that the first, we know that the first thing, the first circle is A, right? And then they are saying they want the probability of not A. So we know very well that we don't want a. So we are not going to circle the entire A. In fact, we are going to do, instead we are going to do what? We are going to, we are going to circle everything which is not within A. You see? So that means in this manner, we will consider everything which is inside the box, but except everything will consider everything which is inside the box, but except 
except a right so where do we see a we don't really shade so we consider everything except except a here's the probability of itini not a the same thing applies with b now here's a trick one so what if we say we want the probability of not a and b so I remember the sign is it simply means not included so we don't want a and b so let us see let us see sorry can we do this let me wrap it so this so we have our circles now let's have let's just simply draw bigger circles here we have a we have b okay and then now the one the probability of not a and b so what happens whenever they say they don't want not a and b the first thing when they say not you consider the opposite right they say not a and b and what do we know we know that a and b it's this point it is the intersection now the the, the sample you know now we know that the sample simply the sample represents the events not being not being included right so when they say not you consider what what you consider the opposite right so they said not a and b so what are we don't want what are we don't want a and b and a and b is where they overlap they overlap at this portion so we don't really want this portion because of we are saying not a and b so it simply means that we'll take everything except except a and b so we will shade everything we want everything which is inside the box and outside the box except dot except a and b because they said not a and b except the, the intersection it simply means we are we do not want this intersection so we will take everything which is outside the intersection right so let's head to the other one so the other one here we have a we have b let's just throw it and i want you to note that whenever you draw this just simply use a ruler and a compass for you to be able to 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 draw it all right so in this case we have we still have a and b and now we are asked to determine the probability of not a or or b so what if they say not a or b so like i said whenever they said not you consider the opposite right so whenever they say not a or b that means you consider a and b the first question that you ask yourself okay what is a or b so how can i identify a or b we do know that a or b on the venn diagram it represent both what it represent both sorry it represent both circles so you are not going to consider both both circles instead you will consider everything which is not within the, the circle why because of the sign not a and b we don't want a and b asifuni a and b arabatli a and b arenyagi a and b right so in this case we will consider everything which is not within we are looking for everything which is not within the circles so we will consider everything which is not within within the circle in this case right so now what happens if we have three events now the same thing applies whenever we stay the same things are apply when we have three events and we know that three events uh, represent what three circles right so here's our venn diagram with three events and the same thing happens whenever we say the product of a or b or c we know that we will consider the whole circle all of the whole circles so we know that we will consider the whole of A, the whole of B, as well as the whole of C. 
so simply this thing simply means that we are not considering what's outside the box so not the box but the circles so we are considering everything that is within both circles right so what happens if we have three events and in this case we have one we have two we have three so i still have my a here i have my b and i have i have my c right so in this case we are looking for the probability of A, not union, because union is the same as as odd. Let's find something else. The probability, we are looking for the probability of A, intersection B, intersection C. So we are looking for, for the probability of A and B and C. And then we know that this sign is intersecting. So I want a part where all of them intersect. Right. So looking at this portion, I cannot include this portion because of at this portion, if you look very well, this is the intersection of A and B only. But I want the intersection of A, I want the intersection of B and C also. So I'm not going to consider this, this intersection. And then let's look at this intersection. Looking at this intersection, we see what? Looking at this intersection, it is the intersection of A, C. So I cannot, cause I want where all of the circles intersect. The same thing applies here, it's B and C, I won't consider. But let's look, wow, look at this part. This part is where all of my circles intersect. So they intersect at this portion. So which means I am considering this portion. This is the portion that I'm looking for. This is what, this is the portion that I'm looking for, where all of them intersect right so let's have more and i want you to note you know now we are still busy with this theory right and then theory it's a bit boring but i promise in few minutes will be in few minutes we'll be tackling those those questions right we'll be able to to apply whatever we have done here right just bear with me just simply do a a a b c so just simply attach your back side just simply do a b c right attach your back side just simply attach your back side on the chair on the chair right and then you will see the medicine just just bear with me have a bit of water while we're still busy you know oh, can I please remove this uh... okay so now we are dealing with how many seconds we are dealing with the second so and I said the second represent what three events three circles rep represent three three events right so in this manner i'm looking for for the probability of a or b or c not so i said whenever they give you not you consider the opposite right so you check so they don't want a they don't want b they don't want c which means you consider what's outside the box. So what you consider, consider everything that is outside the, the box. You consider everything that is not outside the box. I meant to say outside the, the circle, right? This is the elements. These are the elements that are not, that are not included, right? So now let's look at this one. Let's look at this one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, no, let me remove. Remove this. Okay. Now let's look at this one. We still have, we still have three events. Right? We still have three events. Here we have events A, B, and, and C. Right? So what happens if we are looking for 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 a and b and c not 
so we consider the opposite first so what is the opposite we know that a and b and c represent the, the intersection so this is where all of my circles intersect but because of not it simply means but because of the not we want we won't shade this particular area because we are saying not a and b and c we are not looking for the intersection so we will take everything excluding the intersection so we are going to consider everything outside the box and inside the circle but excluding what excluding but excluding the intersection so this is where we won't shade so we'll take everything excluding the, the intersection and then i apologize for using the same card but just bear with me right so yeah you just simply need to know these scenarios that's the only thing so just try by all means to grasp this scenario therefore things will be things will be easier for you right like i said you don't really need to to cram them just simply know them. write them somewhere and then just just simply hide them and then try to write them without seeing them so as time goes on you'll be able to know all of the the scenarios so the main idea is based on knowing these scenarios so that you are able to interpret the questions as well as well so that you are able to interpret the question as well as 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 as, as the Venn diagram itself right now lastly let's look at this now let me so suppose we still have three events in this case and then they say they want the probability of not not a i know whenever they say not a i'm going to consider everything i'm going to consider everything except for for a the entire circle for a i'm not going to to circle it but i will circle everything which is outside except except a. so i'm considering everything except except the circle for for a now we've been doing theory too much now let's apply Right. let's try to apply what we learned so far let's try to apply what we we learned All right so i'm just going to challenge a question Yeah. Mm. Okay. Now let's look at nine point, right? And the first part we already did the first part in the first lesson, right? Now we look at the second part, right? Let me just uh, let me just do this. Uh, yes. And here we'll have our whiteboard, right? So we did, remember we did the first part, right? So now we are given a question. So the question is as follows. A survey was conducted amongst 100 learners at a school to establish their, their involvement in and three codes of sport. So we have three codes. So three codes represent three events. The moment I see three events, three codes of sports represent my three events, right? Meaning I'm going to have three circles i'm going to have three circles so in this manner we have what we have soccer we have netball and and volleyball the results are shown below so we know that 55 of the learners so i want you to know that the first thing that you need to be able to to, to see is that you have to sequence the date how do you sequence the date you draw your own vendor you draw your own your own bell diagram according to to this given statement right so the first thing that we were given we know that we have three events so three events simply represent three what three three circles right now we know that 55 now we know that 55 play solo so we know that we know that 55 learners play what play soccer right and then 21 learners play play netball so seven learners play seven learners play volleyball right and then three learners we are told that three learners 
play netball only right and then th the same thing not the same thing but we have two learners being uh, playing we have two learners playing soccer and volleyball and then one learner plays all of the sport right so here looking at looking at this statement is that we have only and then i didn't mention only right so can we please go through this only a scenario of only and therefore after we guess to we'll go back to the question right so what do you do whenever you see the way only so suppose i have two events i have probability of i have a and i have event b right and then they say they want a only what is meant by that so the the, the moment you see a only they want the part of the circle where a b does not interfere so when we're looking at the circle of the a the entire portion we know that where they 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 intersect each other we know that b inter b interferes so we are looking for a only so we are looking for the part which consists of a only so we don't want the involvement of 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 the second event which is b so we consider we'll consider this so we'll consider we'll consider this space of a right excluding what we'll consider this space excluding excluding b because we want a only they have never said anything about about b now let's head back to let's head back to the equation let's just simply head back to the equation so not the equation but but the equation forgive me as i tend to speak you know some nonsense but just simply forgive me. forgive me so the first thing that we do like i said to you draw your own venn diagram you start to draw your own venn diagram looking at at the statement right i i i know very well that they've already drawn it for you just draw your own venn diagram and after you fill it with answers right therefore you can be able to compare the two because as it appears they've already drawn they've already they have already drawn this for you right and then you won't be able to to enter to you won't be able to to interpret it just to make things simpler draw your own right so here we were told about what so here we were told about about the records of spot so meaning i'll have three meaning i'll have three events i'll have soccer i'll have netball and i'll have fully volleyball right so i've been told that 55 learners play soccer here i will have 55 and i've been told that 21 learners play for the ball here i'll have 21 and then the other thing that i've been told is that uh seven learners play for the for the ball right and then we you need to make sure that you do not forget the sample space what is the sample space so the total number in this case of our learners are 100 so it's 100 so we have 100 what right? we have 100 learners in this case we have 100 we have 100 learners you see so what do we do now we are done with the outer part now so we are done with the 55 21 7 we are done so they said three learners play netball only so what is the part for netball only if you look at this portion if you look at this portion it is netball only so we don't want to see the interference of s or v so we consider only netball so in this portion it will be netball only how many learners play netball the real learners play netball right and the other thing being that two learners play two learners play two learners play soccer and volleyball and i want you to note right that whenever we're given three circles i want you to note the other thing that whenever you are given three events or three circles, right? So here I have B, I have A, B, C, right? And then they speak about the, and they speak about the intersection of 
let's say let's just simply say the intersection of b and c so what is meant they said b and c they never said b and c only they never said only b and, and c only they said b and c so we want where b and c overlap we want where they overlap each other this trivial so i have the circle of what i have the circle of c right i have the circle of b so where do they overlap they overlap each other here i know that we have another portion where a interferes we don't care about a they never said anything about a they said b and c and there's no only so we will consider the whole intersection because if we check from this intersection b exists and b still exists here and even c exists in the in the entire portion so we consider everything we don't care about a they've never mentioned anything about a so we take the entire the entire portion right the same thing applies if we have three events. The same thing will apply if we have three events. So this A, that's B, that's C. And they, they say they want A and, and B. So we take the entire portion. So I have my A here. I have my B here. So we consider the whole one. We consider the whole the whole intersection. So in this case, they're saying two learners play two learners play soccer and volleyball. So where do I put these two? I put these two whenever I see where I see the intersection of S and V. So let's look. We have S here, we have V. The whole thing simply means the whole intersection is what? The whole intersection is is two. The whole intersection is two, right? And one learner plays so we, we are told that one learner one learner plays all spots so all this weight all represents the intersection of all circles that means the student this learner is taking this learner is engaging in in all in all events right so we'll have one so we'll look at the intersection of of all circles where do we see the intersection of all circles this portion this small portion will put one in this small portion. Why? Because of this is where all circles overlap. And note, this two is for the entire. Is for the. This two is for the entire. This two is for the entire. It's for the entire intersection. Right. So if this two is for the intersection and this portion is one, what is this portion? So we're saying the two is the total of. This two is the total of of this section and i'm saying if this part is one what is the other part so we'll say the total intersection minus the part that we have so what is two minus one we'll have one so this portion is one this portion is one both of them whenever we add them we get we get two that's why they say two it is the intersection of of the two right but one is the intersection of of all three events right and then the other thing what's left here is to fill is to fill the 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 spaces now i want you to note that here we were given the total number of learners that play soccer right and then we were given that the total number of learners that play soccer in this case is what it's 55. we were given that the total number who plays boss is it's 55 right so we have these spaces we have to fill these spaces so we are done with the given information now look here so we need to compare our own venn diagram with with the given with the given venn diagram right so we need to compare so we have this space right if we look this space on the given venn diagram is it's c so we'll name it c that's fine and then here it's it's a we'll name it a sorry it's a and then here it's d and then if we check here they've put a two so we have a two and one is there and then this two is our two because of we were told from there the statement and for us to attain this one we said two minus one two and to attain this this one right and then on the outer part we have we have e now 
here's the question so we have the question and pin to pin one note the question we were not on the question we were not asked to draw the fan diagram but we drawn we have drawn our own diagram for us to be able to do it for us to be able to to answer the question now the first question was was to determine the values of a b c d and e so we have to determine we have to determine those values right so i'm just gonna make a full screen just for us to get some space right so now i want you to note that let me try to enlarge this three circles so we said here it's c sorry here's c okay we said here's c here's a here's one we have two for the entire uh, oh, uh intersection we have one for this portion we have another two from the given pentagram we have three we have n we have s and we have and we have d right not forgetting that this thing is inside is inside a box and outside the circles we have outside the circles we have we have e so now we were told that 55 learners participate in soccer 21 learners participate in netball and seven learners participating in volleyball now we have to determine the given values right so what happens is that we have we were told what happens that we were told that the total okay the total number of learners that play soccer are is or the total number of learners that play soccer is 55 right so we know that everything whenever we add everything in this cycle because we are speaking about soccer specifically it simply means that whenever we we add everything they must add up to 55 that simply means whenever I add 1 plus 1 plus a plus c I, I must be able to attain 50 55 the same thing with this circle it simply means when I add 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus t I have to attain what 7 right the same thing with this circle it simply means when I add them I have to attain what 21 when I add 1 plus one plus a plus two i should be able to get so i should be able to get 21 right now i check which one is easier which one is it is so you check here on the first one you have two you have two unknowns so you cannot be able to do it you cannot be able to not to solve it but it's it's a bit difficult right you look at at an expression where you will find a single word you look at, at an expression where you will find a single variable like this so the first thing that we deal with deal with them we deal with the with the with the like terms right so what happens what is one plus we'll have one plus one being two plus two to give us four plus t is equal to, to seven right because of in this case i'm looking for d i'll transpose 4 to the other side and I will have 7 minus 4 to give me to give me 3 that simply means here I have I have 3 and check what is 3 plus 2 that's 5 plus 1 is 6 plus 1 is 7 right which makes sense because we were told that the total number of learners that play volleyball is, is 7 right now we are dealing with the second one so here we did like I said you start with the one that has that has a single variable right i'll have one plus two to give me two plus another two to give me four so i'll have a plus four which is equivalent to 21 right and then what do i do i have a plus four no 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 we left we left this three it was supposed to be no no, no. it was supposed to be one plus two plus a plus three so it's supposed to be one plus two plus a plus three so now what is one plus two that's three plus three it gives us what six right so what do we do we take six to the other side we'll have one minus we'll have one minus six two to give us what we'll have one minus six to give us 21 minus six to give us 50 to 
give us 50 now we'll have 50 All right now the same thing so since we are able to find the value of a we can substitute the value of a here we'll have 1 plus 1 plus 50 plus c is equivalent to 255 so what do we do we consider the the like times first what is 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 15 that's 70 so we'll have 70 plus c being equivalent to 55 what do we do we transpose 70 to the other side and we'll be left with 55 minus 70 to give us plus 55 minus 70 plus 55 minus 70 that's that's 30 38 and for you to be able to verify your things whenever you add the entire whenever you add the entire circle the entire portions of the circle you must be able to get the total up you see so for me to verify that my for me to verify that my a is correct i will say 1 plus 1 plus 38 to give me 40 plus what's my c my c let's check for c okay i would say for me to edit to, to to prove that my c and a are correct i would say okay my a is 15 plus 38 so what is 38 plus 15 that's 53 and then i would say 53 plus 1 that's 54 plus 1 that's 55 so that's how you can verify what's what's inside the circle right now we are left with with e how do we determine this e we know that e is not included so e is not within the circle and we know that the sample we know and we know that the sample we know that the sample size is 100 how do you determine e for you to be able to determine e we just simply take the sample size the sample space or sample size and minus what's inside the, the circles not the total number of the circles you minus what's inside the circles so we'll have 100 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 minus a what's my a that's 15 minus 3 minus minus what's my c 38 right and then you check what's your e right so what is 100 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 minus 50 minus 3 minus 38 wow it's 35 it's, it's 35 therefore the total value for the number who have not taken part in the events is 35 all right and then to prove when you add everything it must give you back to it must give you 100 which brings it which brings you back to back to back to the sample space right or or the sample size now let's do another question on the fan diagram let's look at another question And I want you to note that whenever you do this, just relax. You see, uh, we haven't, we are not yet done this. There's still another question, right? There's still another question, right? Let's return to, to the slide. So we are not done yet. Okay, there's still another another question. Now let's look at 9.2.2. So what happens at 9.2? 9.2 reads as follows. What is the probability that one learner chosen at random from this group plays netball or volleyball? So here I'm looking for the probability of a learner who, who plays netball or, or volleyball, right? And then, like I said before, whenever you see or, you consider what's inside both, both circles. So we are looking for P or, or V. Let us try to find, let us try to find, uh, let us try to find the slide. 
No, no, no. Is it the one? Is it? Okay, let's let's turn this way. Let's try. Okay, let's try. And then let's go here. Let's do this. Okay, sorry. You will just forgive me a bit. Okay. So, now what happens here? Now what happens is that here we have to determine the probability of Elena who plays volleyball or netball. So we have volleyball or, or netball. So we have the probability of Elena who plays volleyball or, or netball. So what do we do? Like I said, we consider everything. The moment you see or we consider everything, everything which is within both circles, right? So what do we do? We are going to add everything on netball and volleyball all over the sample, all over the sample size. And the sample size is what? It's 100, right? So the possible outcome is what? It's 100. And I will add 3 plus 2 plus 1. And plus the value of a which is 15 plus plus d which is 3 plus p which is 1 so you add everything what's within both both circles over over 100 let's check the answer so what is 3 plus 5 plus 1 plus 15 plus 3 plus All over hundred. All over hundred. Okay. So here we have plus two. So that is three. That's three plus two. Wait, that's three plus two. Plus one. Plus. Plus fifteen for a. Plus three for d. Right, and then. What is B or plus one? Right, so it's supposed to be so it should be it should be three plus two plus one plus fifty plus one plus three forty right all over what all over hundred yeah that's zero comma two five that's zero comma two five or one over four so we are done with the question you see so if it happens that you just come across this question you just simply collect just simply collect the marks you know these are just simple questions now let's just do another question let's just separate another question on venn diagram so i believe we are still going to do more questions on venn diagram right at the end of the lesson we we will do some touch on on Venn diagram, and then on the second lesson, I guess we'll do the 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 the, 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 the examples of the contingency table, right? Now I'm looking for now now I'm looking for for the questions for us to be able to 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 yes question nine. So what happens? We have question nine. We have question nine in this way, right? Let me do this. Let me put it here. And then we yeah. Now we have question nine, right? So let's look. So a survey question nine reads as follows. A survey was done amongst eight learners. So what is my end? In this case, my sample size is equal to to eight. Excuse. So I was saying a survey was done amongst eight learners on their favorite spot, right? The results are shown. So in this case, we have rugby, we have cricket, and we have no, we have rugby, we have we have rugby, we have volleyball, we have we have chess. I'm starting to be sleep. So we so on that we have rugby, we have volleyball and, and chess. Right. So what happens? The moment we see three events, a simple test that we are going to have three simple tests that we are going to have three circles because of three events represent three three circles. 
right we don't know whether they are going to intersect or not right we will only be we will only acknowledge that they are going to to intersect whenever we see and when you see and in the question you only you, you just simply know which is the intersect right now the first statement says reads as follows that 52 learners like rugby okay we know rugby we know that r it's 52 we know that or oh, 42 learners like volleyball and we also know that okay five learners play chess only okay 40 learners play rugby and volleyball but not the moment you say rugby and the moment you say rugby and volleyball the moment you see the term and it tells you that they do intersect so the first thing that i'm going to do i'm going to draw two circles and I will tell you why am I drawing two circles now. Now, for this moment, I'm just going to draw two circles. Why? Because of I have information on, on rugby and volleyball. I already know that they intersect in the question, right? And then, as the question, as we go, as we go through the question, they say twelve learners like rugby and chess now i know that rugby i know that rugby there's another circle for chess and i know that that circle intersect with rugby right and then i've been told that 15 love 15 like like volleyball and chess therefore it tells me that all these circles intersect why because of rugby intersect chess and even volleyball intersect chess so i will draw my circles as follows so we don't really cram whether you don't cram right you will be told so you will be told whether they intersect or not through and through through the weight and or intersection right so i know here's my my chest so from the given equation we are told that 52 learners play rugby and then 42 learners play volleyball and how many learners and no, we were not told about the total number of learners uh, that play chess, right? We, we were not told uh, about the learners who play chess, right? So what happens is that in this case, we have the third statement. So the third statement reads as follows. So they are saying five learners like, five learners like what we're saying, five learners like chess only. So we, here we have chess and chess only is this portion. So we don't want the interference of R and V. So here we'll have here we'll have five. Right. And then 14 learners love rugby and volleyball, but not. You see this but not. It simply means that whenever where we see chess, we don't really consider the space of chess. So now note they're saying rugby and volleyball we know that rugby and volleyball is the whole intersection but now they're saying but not so this but not simply means that we are not going to consider a space where we see where we see where we see chess so if you check the whole intersection right this is the whole intersection and then there is another portion of the intersection which includes c so which means because of this said but not chess we are not going to consider this this space because of we don't want the interference of of chess right so we will have 40 here if they they, they haven't like to if if it if it was not told right if we were not told that but not so we are going to consider the whole the whole portion but other than that we will, we will restrict ourselves why because of but not you see and then the second statement is as follows 12 learners like 12 learners like rugby and chess but not volleyball so we want rugby and chess but not volleyball here this is rugby and chess this is where rugby and chess intersect but we don't want volleyball meaning this position because of there is volleyball as well we don't really consider that portion so how many here we'll have we'll have 12 right and then 15 learners like volleyball and chess but not rugby so the same thing applies here they're saying we have volleyball 
and chess but not rugby so this is the intersection this is the entire intersection right for for what this is the intersection intersection of v and c right so they are saying 15 learners like volleyball and chess but not rugby this thing simply means that when we say rugby we don't really we don't consider it we don't consider this portion where we where where we see rugby right so meaning we will have where where we see v and and c only this is v and c only without the interference of of r so we do not want r in this case we want the intersection of v and c only which means here i'll have what i'll have here i'll have 50 right and then x learners x learners like three types of of sport so it simply means that this number of learners these are the learners that engage in all kinds of sports so all kinds of sports this is where all the three the three events all this is where all of the three events events intersect which is this portion this is the intersection of all events so meaning we have we have x right so now we have okay the last thing means is that three learners did not like any sport which means this three does not engage in any sport and i told you that whenever you have something which does not engage in the event we write it outside the circle not outside the box but outside the the circle right so outside the circle we have three which simply means that these three are not included in this in this event right now do not forget the sample space which is at right but our venn diagram in this case it's incomplete now we have to fill we have we have to fill in this these spaces right so what do we do we know that the sum of everything we know that the sum of everything in this in this case we know that the sum of everything in this second is equal to is equal to 52 so i'll have 12 plus 14 plus x plus so what is this our unknown let's name it let's make it let's name it smaller r right plus r is equivalent to 52 right and then let's name this one small small letter b right so i know that the the sum of these portions must be must be equal to 42 so i have 14 plus x plus 15 plus smaller v being equivalent to, to 42 the same thing applies here but looking at this look at this circle everything is complete we don't have any 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 empty space right so what do we do here we consider the empty space what is our empty space in this case it's r so i'm looking for for r so you can just simply use any any variable right so here i'm solving for r so for me to be able to solve for r what do i do i isolate r so i leave r and i take everything to the other side i'll have 52 minus what is i'll have 52 minus whenever x goes to the other side that's negative x and then what is 12 plus plus 14 12 plus 14 is 20 26 right and then r is equivalent to what is 52 that is 52 minus 26 so 52 minus 26 52 minus 26 is is 26 we have 26 minus x that means at this position we have 26 minus minus x remember x was given in this case right so this portion was given to be x so it was given as s x this intersection was given as s x so we write it the way it is right and then and in this case x represents a constant that's why we are writing it the way it appears so the same thing applies with v so because of your solving for v we'll take everything to one side and isolate and isolate v right so you will have 42 minus x and then what is 14 plus so what is 14 plus 15 14 plus 15 is 29 when you take 29 to the other side it becomes negative 29 what is 42 minus 29 well 42 minus 29 is 
13 so you will have 13 minus x so in this portion we will have 13 minus minus x now we are done with our Venn diagram here it's our Venn diagram complete right you have answered the question right but we are not but we are not we are not done right we are not done because we still have 9 by 2 so this is what this okay this is 9 by 1 so now we have to add to to 9 by 2 right now let's do this let's add a page for 9 by 2 9 by 2 okay for 9 by 2 we have to use the previous page well forgive me we need this information mm. so okay let's do this okay let's do this yeah let's do this so on this question 9.2 we are asked to show we were asked to show what to show that the value of x is equivalent to, to 8. So what do we do? We are asked to show that the value of x is equivalent to the value of x is equivalent to, to 8. Right? So what are we going to do? So we know that the sample space, everything which is inside the box is equivalent to, to the sample space. So we are going to add everything which is in the for which is which is inside this box and then we equate it to to add so the first thing that we are going to add is 26 plus x then not 26 plus x but 26 minus x which is this portion and then we add it to 40 then we add it to to 12 and then we add it to to x and then we add it to 30 minus x and then we add it to, to 15 okay 15 we add it to to 5 and then we add it to 2 to 3 and then we equate it to to 8 so the first thing that we deal with are the like term so what is 26 so what is 26 plus 14 plus 12 plus 13 plus 15 plus 5 plus 3 that's 88 so we will have 88 and i want you to know that we have negative x plus positive x we know that this x is all cancer i'll only be left with with the negative x being equivalent to with 88 minus x being equivalent to 8 right so here i'm solving for for x looking at this x is negative right what do i do i isolate i isolate i isolate 83 right and then transpose x to the other side and then i do the same thing with 8 i will transpose edge to, to the left hand side right when i transpose edge to the left hand side it becomes negative negative 8 and x to the right hand side it becomes x what is 80 what is 88 minus 80 that's 8 so my 8 in this case my my my, my x is equivalent to, to 8 in this case as required since you are required to suffer since you are required to show that x is equal to to show that x is equivalent to to 8 now, now let's continue with our our equation let's do this right so so we have a question here right so the question reads as follows 9 by 3 so here we will do 9 by 3 so 9 by 3 states as follows calculate the probability that a learner chosen no 9 by 10 how many learners like rugby only so we are con we are considering the space for for rugby so we want rugby only and rugby only is this portion not the entire rugby because of here this v here this this c so we don't want the interference of 
V and C. So we are looking for for R only. So what is R only? We know this portion from the 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 the, the Venn diagram that we did that we did before. We know that we had twenty six minus x. So that's R only. So the probability. What is the first thing we determine? Twenty six minus x, and we were able to determine the value of x. The value of x was was eight. Right. So what is twenty six minus eight? I have eighty. Right. And then we know that the probability of what the probability of only rugby the probability of only rugby will be 18 over the sample space which which is 100 right we'll have 18 over not 18 over 100 sorry in this case the sample space is 8 is not what the sample space is is 8 is not 100 apologies right so now we have 9.4 so now we, now we have 9.4 so what happens on 9.4? 9.4 of this question contains at least. So I want us us to do the question. We have the at least two, at least three. This question, which includes at least, I would recommend us to do it. At I recommended us to I will recommend us to to do it at the at the end of the video. Why? Because of I don't want to confuse you, since. We've been making a, a a huge progress, right? Let's continue. Let's find another equation on on Venn diagram. That will be our last equation on on Venn diagram. Okay, we have done this. We do this. Yeah. Right. Let's try. With this okay now let's look at question let's do this first let's check whether we have another one okay we still have another one and then after this question I believe we'll head to after this question we'll head to to contingency table in the next in the next lesson right so let's do this Yeah, now let's try to find let's open a new page right and try to find let's find you see yeah we can do at least two questions then we are done with with the fan diagrams right so what happens here is that we have question we have question 10 right and question 10 is as follows the survey was carried out with 240 customers who bought food from fast food outlets. Okay, this is not let's okay from fast food outlets on on a particular day, right? So the outlet sells the outlet sells cheese beggars, bacon beggars, and and vegetarian beggars. So we know that our sample size from the equation is from the question is. Is 240 we have 240 customers right and then we have three events right representing three circles right so now we have the first we have we can see our our Venn diagram now we have the first equal we have the first question which which is 10 by 1 now 10 by 1 is as follows how many customers did not buy beggar on on the on on the day so now listen so we said okay these are kinds of beggars we have we have a cheese beggar we have a bacon beggar as well as the vegetarian beggar so we want the customers that did not participate and i told you that the elements that do not engage in the activities is the number outside the, the circles so we have five right so they said how many 
so we consider how many learners how many customers we have we have we have we have five customers we have five but we have five customers so the question is how many how many customers if they were to say what is the probability you were going to say okay the probability of of you were going to say the probability of the customers that did not buy baker is equivalent to you will say okay what do i want i consider i consider five over the sample space what is my sample space 240 only whenever i'm done only when i'm um only when i'm determining the the probability i'll divide by i'll divide by the sample space right that's all but because of here they ask for for the number of customers that that did not buy beggars on the day we wouldn't do such right but we know that okay the number which is not within the circle is the number we know very well that the number which is not within the circle is 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 the exclusion of of the events right so we know that five customers did not buy beggar on that day now let's head to 10 pen pen 2 so 10 pen 2 10 pen 10 pen 2 okay read as follows are events b and c mutually exclusive give a reason for our answer we did this on uh, in the we did this in the first video but we can but we can tackle we know that we can tackle this this question now for you to be able to identify mutual exclusive events we know that you need to find the probability of a and the probability of b right and then we know that a and b it is the intersection Right. So let's look at in this case because of the speaking about P and C. So we have the whole circle for B and the whole circle for, for C. Right? Let's speak about B and C. Instead of having A, I'll have C. Right? So we look at we look at the intersection. So what happens at the intersection of A and B? The intersection of A and B is this whole of B and C. The intersection of B and C is this whole. It is this whole portion, which is 17 plus plus 12. We don't really care whether we don't really care whether B intervenes at this particular moment because of this. No, there's no but not. Right? So 17 plus 12 is is 29 so the probability of c and b is 29 over over 240 now are uh, events b and c mutual exclusive we wouldn't say they are mutual exclusive why because of we know that the probability of c and b is not equivalent to zero so you will say no they are not because the prob well because the probability of C and B because the probability of C and B is not equivalent to C. In fact, it's equivalent to twenty nine over two forty. Right now, let's head to ten point three. Let's go to ten point three. Now ten point three. Let's go to ten point three. Okay. Ten point three. Ten point three point one. So ten point three. If a customer from this group is selected at random, determine the probability that he or she bought only vegetarian bakers. So we want the probability of of the customers who bought only vegetarian back right so where we see v only we want v only we don't want the interference of we don't want the interference of c and b we want v only so what is v only that's 58 because of this said probability will say 58 over over 240 so this is our total the total number of possible outcome and this is my favorable outcome what is my favorable outcome the customers who who, who only ate vegetarian who only bought vegetarian bag right and then now i have 10.3.2 so what is the probability 
that that she or he bought a cheese and bacon so we want the probability of p and and c and we've determined it from the previous question when we were asked about mutual exclusive events we know that is 29 over 240 so what did we do we said okay let's go up a bit we said we said okay so we're looking for b and c so b and c is this is this portion right for the intersection of b and c it's, it's this portion we said 17 plus plus 12 to get 29 right to get what to get 29 so because of the set probability we'll say 29 over over 240 right now let's continue now we look at 10 point three point three. now we look at 10 point three point three. so we want the probability of 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 the customers that did not buy a cheese bag that did not do what that did not buy a cheese bag so what are we going to do what are we going to do so we do not want what we do not want cheese bag so everything which is in this we're going to take everything which is not which is not within this so like i said they said the probability of people who did not buy the probability of people who did not buy cheese bag so we look at cheese bag oh, okay this is my cheese bag i'm not going to take anything from cheese bag and because of we are looking for those who did not buy cheese bag so i will add everything except except what's inside cheese cheese bag so i'll have 52 plus 3 plus 58 plus even this five as well i do add it because it's not within it's not within cheese bag plus five all over what all over 240 so this is the probability right so what is 52 plus 3 plus 58 plus 5 all over 2 all over 240 that's 59 over 120 so that's 59 over 120 right now we have 10 now we have 10.3.4 so on 10.3.4 we want the probability that we want the probability that a customer bought a bacon or vegetarian bag so in this case we want the probability of b or or c right so you you have you can use you can use two techniques you can use two techniques to 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 determine this right so the first thing like i said for uh, i said from the first lesson right? not from the first lesson but in the first at the start of this lesson what did i say about or i said the moment you say we see or we 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 consider the combination of both circles so when i say b i'm going to take everything that's in b and and c right because of this said the probability will say the combination of b and c all over what all over the sample space so what is my sample space my sample space is, is 240 so i will say 84 plus 17 plus 12 plus 9 plus 52 plus 3 so all of this is equivalent to what 84 plus 17 plus 12 plus 9 plus 52 plus 3 all over 240 so that's 59 over 8 that's why that's 59 over over 8 so that's 59 over over 8 or one can say okay one can use another invite so one can use another another technique one can use another technique okay one can one can say no 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 Peter Magna at the fact you introduce at the at the beginning of the class you introduced what you introduce 
the addition rule. We know that the addition rule states as follows that the probability of A or B is equivalent to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and and B. Right? And then we know that in this case we'll use B, C, and V. Right? So we are looking for the probability of, of B and or V. We are looking for the probability of B or 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 V in this case. So we know that the probability of B or V is equivalent to the probability of B plus the probability of V minus the probability of B and and V. And then you say what is the probability of V? So the probability what is the probability of B, right? So you go, you check, right? You check the probability of B. So the probability of B, we consider everything, what's inside B, everything that that is inside, everything that is inside B, right? So you will add everything and then you divide by the sample space. So you will say 17 plus, so for probability of B, you will say 17 plus 52 plus 12 plus 3 all over 240 the same thing applies whenever you deal with v you will say 58 plus 9 plus 12 plus 3 all over 240 right so what is 17 plus 52, plus 12, plus 3, all over, all over 240. Now you have, now you have 83, now you have 83 over 240. And then for the other one, you will have, okay, you will have 58 plus 9, Let's put in a plus 9 plus 12 plus 3. In this case, you will have, we'll have 41 over over 120. Right, you will have 41 over 120. So here you will substitute the values of the two. And then not forgetting the probability of P and, and V. So what is the probability of P and V? So we look at P and we look at v where do b and v intersect they intersect here so i have my old v i have my old b so they intersect here that will be 12 plus 3 to give me 15 over 2 40. and then you will say the probability no 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 you will say the probability of b which is 83 over 2 40 plus 41 over 120 minus 15 over 240 right so let's calculate so we have 83 all over 240 plus 41 all over 120 minus minus what minus 15 all over 240 all over two fourths right so now we get we get we get five over eight we get five over eight i just want to do i just want to confirm the answer in the previous question just want to confirm the answer so we got what in the previous equation we got okay let's do this Okay, so that's five over eight. So you have two approaches. It's either it's either you have to use it's either you're going to use this this equation or it's either you're going to use this equation or you just simply interpret the Venn diagram. And when you interpret the Venn diagram, because of this at B or V, you add everything and you divide by and you divide by two forty. Let's see. You add everything you divide by by. 240 
let's see you will have 70 plus 52 plus 12 plus 3 plus 9 plus 58 all over 240 let's see so what is 70 plus 52 plus 12 plus 3 plus 9 plus 58 all over 240 okay all over 240 and we have also we should be able by using these two approaches we should be able to get the same answer i just want to verify if is there any mistake that i've done okay we have 12 plus which is 50 over 240 that's correct for v we have 58 plus 9 plus 12 plus 3 okay that's fine and then for b we have 17 plus 12 okay plus 52 plus 3 okay i want to verify this one 17 plus 52 plus 12 plus 3 all over 2 40 17 oh sorry oops here i did a mistake it's 7 over over 20 it's 7 over what it's 7 over 20 right so which means here we will have 7 over over 20 here we'll have 7 over 20 so let's see we should be able to get the same answer so 7 over 20 plus 41 over 120 minus 50 over 240 minus 50 over 240 that's 150 that's 151 over 240 that's 151 over over 240 so what is 17 so now what is 17 let's look at the second one let's look at this second so what is 17 plus what is 17 plus 52 plus 12 plus 3 plus 9 plus 58 it remains to be 151 over 240 so by using the same both approach we we get the same answer so you use the same techniques so you can use either the first one or the second one by just simply interpreting the Venn diagram right let's check oh we are done with the question we are done with the question so let's do this let's do this okay so students i want you to note not students but learners you're still learners eh? <laughs> you haven't reached the level the adversity level so just simply note that on this we'll have a second lesson i'll try to make a shorter lesson on contingency table right and therefore after contingency we'll have t decla so let's hope it's it's just going to be a shorter lesson i know it's long but the only thing that we are left with is only contingency table entry and tree tagger therefore you will be done the grade levels will be done we'll have accounting principle right um shout out bye